what is going on guys and welcome back to another episode of Louisiana Outdoorsman we are in the Atchafalaya Basin running some limb and jug lines and I will say that I already filmed this intro and I'm keeping I'm trying my best to keep my cool um, right now because I literally had two days full of action of catfish and this is the third day now I'm gonna show you guys now so I have this ice chest right here, which is, oh, I can't see. This ice chest right here, which is halfway full of nice channel and blue cats that we've caught over the past couple of days. And all of a sudden I get out here this morning by myself and lo and behold, my SD card has a formatting error. And uh, I, I, I had to reset and reformat the SD card literally just now before i film this intro again um so i will be able to film more for you guys because i literally just got here picked up my first jug and there was a catfish on it and i just as soon figured that i would reset it now and hopefully there's some more catfish on it this morning and then tomorrow when we're gonna run them again so i i'm so frustrated with these sd this is about the third time sd cards have done this to me and uh it's just frustrating but it is what it is it comes with the territory of filming and everything like that so with that being said we're gonna continue running these lines and uh see what's on them and hopefully i can get a a decent video for you guys even though everything else just got wiped out so stay tuned i'm about to go pick up a jug and we'll see if there's a fish on it <clears throat> Big money, big money, big money, big money, big money. Oh, there's a fish on it. There's a fish on it. That's a decent one, too. Oh, he just came off. Oh, my goodness. That's a long jug. Am I at? Where am I at? Hey. All right. Nice little two and a half, three pound cat right there give him a little sunshine view you know what i'm saying you can tell he's been on that limb uh jug line all night trying to get off you can see the uh the lines from the rope he wrapped himself up trying to get off but couldn't spin away from the old beef stew meat and another one for the chest goes in the other one the last jug i just ran it didn't start bouncing until i got like right up to it like the fish have been probably on there all night so they're really tired but this one don't look to be moving at all oh it's got a fish on it does it have two fish no just one if you guys notice let me get this fish off real quick he's barely hooked too I say barely hooked these. Hooked kind of good. So, a little, a little pounder. But uh, what I was saying is, if you guys probably don't notice when I'm reeling it up, but as these fish, let me shut this thing up real quick. As these fish sit on these jug lines all night, these fish will bite. The catfish feed at night on top. So if majority of these fish that I'm pulling up are gonna be on the top hook um, and not on the bottom. During the day, they feed a lot on the bottom, which is why I'm kinda doing a mix right now with the beef stew meat on top and the worms on the bottom. Because the worms will catch the fish faster. Um, and if I plan on running them again this morning while I'm here, then I just as soon put the worms on the bottom for a faster bite and leave the beef stew meat on top so but just a just a tip for you guys if you guys are making jug lines or whatnot um and you want to do a single hook and you're going to run these jug lines at nighttime, put that hook on the top and that way you'll probably have a better chance of catching those catfish at night on top water since they come to the surface to feed at night That's a good one. That's a good one. 
That's a good one. That is what I'm talking about. Let me get the flipper real quick. Hang on, hoss. This catfish is, he must've got hooked just this morning. Cause normally when catfish get hooked overnight, well, he wasn't hooked that good either. Let me rebait this. I'm gonna show you guys this little, this little thing. Chill, out, stop spinning. Stop spinning. All right, <laughs> now we get some sun on them. Nice channel, very nice channel. About three pounds. And uh, I don't know, him and, him and that, uh, ooh, his little, his little fin kind of scraped me a little bit. Him and that blue are about the same size. So two, three, three and a half pounders in the ice chest. And I've only ran, I've only ran maybe, uh, let's see, how many jugs? I've only ran one, two, three, four, eight jugs and two limb lines so far. And we have four fish in a boat. Not bad for wintertime catfish at all. Boy, he's still on there for sure. Look at that line moving. He's definitely on there. So hopefully we can, we can rake him in real quick. Hopefully it's a catfish for one. Because if it's not, I'm about to be mad. Use my little my little line grabber. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, I'm gonna need a net. 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 Oh, that's a good one. Let's go. Hell yeah. Oh, I didn't think I was gonna catch a bigger one this morning either. I'm not saying that he's big, but. He's bigger than all the other catfish we've caught so far. Oh my goodness, that is a sight for sore eyes he just came off to. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Look at this hoss. Come on. Hey, cooperate, bro. Look at this. Look at this hoss. Nice, probably eight pound catfish a little blue you can tell he got the same marks that other one had this morning trying to get off that limb line so he's been fighting it for quite some time so but uh we're gonna put him in the ice chest and i got a few more jugs and a couple more limb lines to check and then we're gonna roll out of here after rebating Woo! that'll get you pumped up in the morning What's a good one? A little channel, boy. A little Chanel. All right, so that's one. It's two. It's one. It's two. It is one. We caught two catfish. We caught two, but only one went nice, Chess. That was smart. Damn, What did you do? I didn't. That's how it came up. One in the chest, two in the chest. Stand on that side. That's a good. Grab the net. Help mama pull it in. <laughs> it's called a turkey. <laughs> <laughs> we got a turkey. We got a turkey. Oof. Seen it? <laughs> Seen as a chance. Uh, there's a chance, bro. For the over? No shot. No, no, no. no. For some fish, yeah. Hanging. We already caught twice as much as what we've. <laughs> we 
Was that a ripple? Got it! Gage, how big was that one? Tell him Cassette. Tell him Cassette. How big was that one? We went in a moment. It was that much? We gotta shake this one. No way! Tell no so way! Oh, what are you doing? If I got here, Seth. I couldn't get that. Oh my Seth. god, neither can my net. Stop. It fell off. Let me grab it. I was trying to grab it, bro. Why'd you say something then? It broke it. It did break it. All you kept saying was, Seth! 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 I was going to try to grab it. Oh my gosh. That was a big one. That was the biggest I think I've seen. Uh, we could lose the net if I chunk that shit anyway. <laughs> Since we're not fishing yeah, anymore. Yes. Yeah. Big one. Good one. A good Get one. Boat, Gage. Get back in gear. He's flipping everywhere. That makes three. Where's the flip? Get the net ready. Yeah. yeah. Yes, you don't see it? Watch mama's head. I don't even see that. I see it. It's moving. 100 percent moving. A little pounder. Uh, uh, Whoa! Watch out, hoss. <laughs> Watch out, hoss. Out. We're so excited. Did that? No, I tied him. Oh, like okay. That. I tied That's him. I was like, pull the uh, tag in. <laughs> Gage, pull how it. many fish is that now? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Hey, hey, Look. See how much it is. See how much it is. How big is he? 16? 16. Uh, 16. 17. Look, you're talking to me. <laughs> 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 hey, where's that one? Where's that other one? Yeah. Gage, where's the flag in that? I can't see it. You see it? Oh, where's the way to go? Uh, them lilies weren't there, isn't it? Yeah, you have to look at it there. Go left. Go left, okay. That thing is in the lilies, huh? That thing's on there right now. I hear that. What happened? Go left. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think there's gonna be a fish on that one. Hey, they got a hook if you want it. Oh, get the fish in the boat, boy. He was sitting on the lilies? Yep, on the lilies. Oh my goodness. Bro. How did that fish die? Oh, was it still in the water? It was still in the water. Barely. <laughs> Damn. Hey, dude, if you haven't noticed, they're all this exact same size I'm on. That two to three pound range. How many we got? Five. Oh, the flag was on it. That over might happen, bro. Oh, I don't see. Oh, I see it. It's moving, moving, moving. Oh yeah, that's a that's a fish. A fish. He's a fish. He's a fish. We got it's a fish. Me and Mr. Magnet. No. He's gone crazy. He's gone crazy. Is it big enough to keep? I didn't even get a chance to. Yeah. We got one that's yeah. small in there. I just didn't see him initially. It'll do. It'll do. He. <laughs> He'll make a sandwich. Man, I'm fishing never did nothing. Can I eat you on a warm fish salad? <laughs> <laughs> Gage, that's a little one. It's a little one, huh? He said, put him in the put chest. Put him in the Daddy. chest. Shut it, I'm getting hollered at. 
These are the perfect trees for this. Yep. What's a decent one? That'll do. Yes. That'll do. That'll do. It's like an operation over here. We got it. Yeah, thank you for getting it out there, getting tight for like one second. Yeah, I'm sorry. I was trying to pull it. Ice chest right. is almost full, dog. Yeah. It would have been full if. Yeah. Stuff that happens. Be like that. There you go. Babe, this is about the same spot Seth lost that big one. Yep. Gage, that's a big enough one, huh? Wait, wait up. No. Yeah. No. <laughs> you don't want to lose it like Seth lost the other one. Or like your mama and Natasha <laughs> lost the three over there. <laughs> okay, one was because of Uncle Seth's hand went off. Alright, guys, that is going to be a wrap on the video. It is a few days later, as you can tell, probably. I'm in short sleeves. It is no longer cold because uh, it was definitely, definitely a cold weekend. And uh, we actually ended up with, it's actually, I'm filming this after we've cleaned the fish and everything already. So I kind of know how many we have because we counted. We ended up with 34 catfish. I know you guys didn't see them all like I explained in the beginning of the intro. For some reason or another, the first two days uh, that we were out there, for some reason, my SD card threw an error code and had to reformat and everything got wiped out so um, you guys definitely seen the last two days which were pretty much the better of the two days to be honest um, especially that last uh, morning when we ran them uh, limb lines and jug lines in a new spot that we had hung the day before uh, which you guys didn't see uh, it was a totally new spot that we tried out so it was a major win and uh, what we plan on doing from here on out is uh, me and my buddy are going to keep a log of how high the water, how high the river stages were um, when we go to certain spots in the basin um, and then the water temp and then a, a few other things at that point and we're going to keep track so we can know where we need to go in the basin at certain times of the year where it, certain areas might be holding fish. Um, so we'll start keeping a log on that and kind of keeping up with it that way we know where to go and what time of the year to go But I hope you guys did enjoy it is getting to the springtime and that means Fishing central for sure. So I should be pumping out a few more videos for you guys here shortly um, But who knows where the next adventure is gonna take me So I hope you guys stay tuned and come back for another episode of Louisiana Outdoorsman